Hello friends, this video on surface area and volume part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 11. A container shaped like a right circular cylinder having a diameter 12 cm, height 15 cm is full of ice cream. The ice cream is to be filled in cones of height 12 cm diameter 6 cm having a hemispherical shape on the top. Find the number of cones which can be filled. Please note, the first shape is cylindrical in shape and the second shape is cone plus hemisphere. That means the question says, there is one big cylinder, cylindrical shape ice cream. Okay, diameter of 12, that is radius is 6, R is equal to 6 and height is equal to This is full of ice cream. From this you take out ice creams and you fill with a cone, this is a cone, height is 12 and the diameter is 6 cm, so this is 3 cm large. Not only this, it is having a hemispherical shape on the top, this is like this. And we have to find the number of such cones that can be filled, correct? From this bigger one, so we have to find the number of cones that can be filled. So we see the volume is constant. So and let's suppose, let's suppose let there be n such small cones. There are n such small cones that can be filled. So we can say volume of bigger cylinder ice cream will be equal to n into volume of smaller cone ice cream. Why? Because the ice cream volume is constant. So if you understand this equation, the volume of bigger cylinder ice cream is equal to n into volume of smaller cone, the question is solved. That is the thing you have to understand here. Correct? Because from this only, let's suppose this is our ice cream star mark, from this you fill this. And there are n such cones which can be filled. Correct? There are n such cones which can be filled. So we have to find that value of n. Correct? I think you got the logic here. So from this bigger one, we are filling this smaller ice cream. And there are n such cones that can be filled. So volume of bigger cylinder is how much? Pi r square h. You know, and let this be R1 and let this to be R2. But all the cones be R2. Just to make my life simple, so pi R1 square into H1 will be equal to N into what is the volume of this cone? If you see this cone, I will draw this cone clearly again. This is not only cone, this is a cone plus hemisphere. So the volume of ice cream is nothing but volume of cone plus. Or I can write smaller ice cream here. Volume of ice cream is nothing but volume of cone plus hemisphere. So this is nothing but 1 by 3 pi r2 square h. This is the volume of cone plus volume of hemisphere. 2 by 3 pi r2 whole cube. So this will be the volume of the ice cream, smaller ice cream. This question we have done so many times where we have this cone and the hemisphere, we have found the volume. So I'm doing it a little faster. And if you don't understand this, please watch previous examples where I have found the volume of the ice creams like this. So let me put the values. So this becomes pi into R1 is how much? 6. 6 into H is how much? 50. 50 is equal to n into 1 by 3 pi r2 square what is the value of r2 r2 is uh, diameter is here 6 so r2 is 3 let me write there r2 is equal to 3 and the height is 12 so h2 is equal to 12 so r2 square that is uh, 3 square into h2 that is 12 plus 2 by 3 is 2 by 3 pi 3 
3. Correct. So if you see pi pi cancel, you can say cancel this pi pi. If you solve this, the value of n comes out to be 6 square 36 into 15, that is 540, I think, by this 1 by 3, I can cancel this. This becomes 12 into 3, that is 36, plus this is also 2 by 3, and 1 this is pi cube, that cancels, becomes pi square, 3 square, 9 into 2 18, plus 18. So this becomes 540 by 36 plus 18 is also 54. 540 by 54, that is 10. There is no unit because it's number. So there are 10 ice creams that can be formed. From this bigger ice cream that is a, a cylindrical in shape, we can get 10 such smaller ice creams, which are in this shape. Omen plus chemistry. Just understand when you change the shape from cylinder to cones, the volume is constant. And that's what I'm doing. The volume is constant. One more example. How many silver coins, 1.75 cm diameter and of thickness 2 mm, must be melted to form a cuboid of this dimension? That is, you see the coins of this fashion. Right? Any silver coin of this fashion which has a diameter or radius and height. It is cylindrical actually. You see any cone, it is cylindrical. So you are saying that we will melt such n number of coins. Right? We will take some n number of such coins. We will melt it and from this we will form a cuboid. The form of cuboid like this. And this cuboid is of dimension uh, 10, 5.5, and height is 10. And the question is how many how many silver coins are required? Here also, if you see it's conversion of solid from one shape to another. So the volume of total volume, total volume of coin will be equal to Volume of cuboid, correct? Because if you melt some coins, the volume what you get of the metal you get is equal to the volume of cuboid. And total volume of coin is nothing but n into volume of one coin. If you assume that they are n coins, correct? Is equal to volume of cuboid. And volume of cuboid is nothing but L into B into H, length by the height. And volume of one coin, it's supposed to be R1 and H1 here. Here we know that R1 is nothing but 1.755 because 1.75 is diameter and H1 is nothing but 2 millimeter. Please note this is centimeter and this is millimeter. So we have to convert this into centimeter. So 2 millimeter by 10 will be 2, cent, 2 by 10 centimeter. Correct? See, this is 2 millimeters, so 2 millimeters is equal to 2 by 10 centimeters. Everything is centimeter, so we have to convert everything in centimeter. Please note this, if you don't do this, you will get different answer. So in questions where they are different units, in something in centimeter, something in meter, something in kilometer, something in millimeter, please, please, please convert everything into single unit. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, they are in centimeter, only one guy was in millimeter, so I converted it also in centimeter. So I got height to be 2 by 10 centimeters. So let's solve this n into what is the volume of 1.5 r2 square sorry r1 square h1 will be equal to volume of cuboid l into v into h correct so n into pi pi is 2 into by 7 r1 is 1.75 by 2 square into h1 that is 2 by 10 this is equal to L into B into H, that is 5.5 into 10 into 3. How I got this? this one. So, from this, if I solve this, solve me N is not that difficult for me. So, if you solve the volume for, and find the value of N, N will come out to be 400. You can solve this, N comes out to be 400. That means we need 400 coins. We need 400 such coins 
to melt together to form a bigger cuboid of dimension 5.5 cm to 10 cm into 3.5 cm. Okay. Let's say thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.